Hello everyone, I'm back. It's 9.44 p.m. at night. So, excuse me. <sighs> well, I'm so tired. Um, so, around my nose area, it looks like it's red. And my eyes have been red all day, too. So. But, um. Well, it ended up, I don't know if it's still raining, but it ended up raining today. It rained today. And, um, I was getting alerts on my phone about the lightning and I heard some thunder. And, um, so I guess after four o'clock, no more sleeping or nap, but after dinner, I almost started to go back to sleep, but I felt like I didn't want to go back to sleep too early. Um, excuse me. <clears throat> excuse me. So my, the fact that, um. My legs are still hurting. My legs are still hurting and um and the fact that it, it had been raining and it said to stay inside for thirty minutes after you hear a lightning. Mm. After I meant to say after you see a lightning or hear um Thunder. Um, wow, they, they've been having big gnats harassing me in this room all day. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I mean, my legs hurting and then it's raining. So, I had just enough funds to um man I had enough funds to um I had just enough funds for um I thought I didn't have enough but I found a way damn I don't know if I success. I think I got it. That gnat kept harassing me. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I got it. So I had ordered. Um, I'm surprised that DoorDash had something that was buy one get one free you know <coughs> excuse me so <coughs> excuse me I ordered um it was a buy one get one like they have four options of sandwiches you can choose they weren't mix and match but you had to order double of the same thing you know but I ordered the cheapest one which was the meatball and um I ordered firehouse subs and they had like buy one get one free you know so um so the second sandwich I put in the fridge so I can um it will be saved for tomorrow So, um, so now, at the moment, I have just four dollars and eighty cents in the bank, I think, and tomorrow I'm supposed to get the um paid for 
one ebook purchase and only two dollars and twenty five cents and that will be like by tomorrow morning I will have just seven dollars and five cents in the bank but you know like the the past two or three times before I had like two miniature muffins a small cup of juice and a small cup of milk and would be held over until dinner but today I had um two miniature muffins a small cup of juice orange juice and a small cup of um milk and two almond granola bars and 30 minutes later I felt hungry again and then afterwards I felt like tortured and hungry all day long you know I felt like I was starving I felt like I was suffering <clears throat> excuse me you know and um you know I felt hungry enough that I thought that oh when I get the two sandwiches I will eat both of them but then I, I realized that ooh you know I could I didn't eat I didn't make an attempt to eat the second one but I just looked at the first one and was like oh this is big enough that this is all I can eat and so I ate the first one and uh, I ate the first one and that was another net I don't even I'm not even sure if I killed it I, I ate the first one and then I felt stuffed and hungry but now um with it being like almost 10 o'clock I'm feeling hungry to eat the other one <clears throat> excuse me um but <coughs> you know I mean I didn't I didn't eat lunch and I slept you know but it's like y'all causing like the online st flying monkeys and stalkers are you know trying to cause me food anxiety and and they and causing me to feel panic attacks every meal you know <clears throat> excuse me and they think that they internet strangers thinking that they can control what I eat you know so why should I have to have ha felt ashamed to have you know breakfast lunch and dinner telling me you don't need to be eating three meals a day but if I had children and they weren't fed three meals a day y'all would call CPS So y'all basically need, mean that children should be eating more than adults. I thought it was the opposite. But children, you know, people say that children need to eat their three meals a day. But usually there's like smaller portions of food and, and less calories or whatever for the food guidelines. But children, you know, a lot of parents, I mean, a lot of teachers that as, as at schools you know they they will um call cps if they find out the children that the parents are too poor or can't afford to feed their kids three meals a day so i'm a fully grown adult have been living my own life you know for multiple years and y'all internet strangers and traffickers think y'all got the fake authority to, to dictate that I shouldn't be allowed to eat three meals a day 
or they figure if someone is homeless that you have to be missing meals in order to be taken seriously as a legitimate homeless person. And I, ever since October, I had I damn sure been forced to miss certain meals, including going all day with no food some day, sometimes. No food and sometimes all day with nothing to drink. But when I was in Pensacola, you know, I had moments where, you know, only a couple of times I went without eat, being able to have the funds to eat. And sometimes the most I could get was, you know, a dollar and 35 cent small bag of chips out of the vending machine. And barely enough for that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, if nobody counts my twin sister's calories or police, how many meals they think she should eat per day. And she's not working. But she was the one who has her cult followers doing this though. And they think this shit is funny. But if but for me to have had I mean, no lunch and then if I were to eat two two of uh, both of the sandwiches I would get called greedy. You know, like, even when I was abused in foster care, you know, if I ate breakfast, lunch, and dinner, oh, I got called greedy. But if I also, if I um, missed lunch and ate double dinner, oh, that was still called, I would still be called greedy for that. But only it seems like as if people are seen by society as retarded or special ed. If you see me as retarded and special ed, you know, that you will be like very controlling and abusive and think you got the fake authority to steal my rights. And like they've been having like skinny people on psych meds that seen by society as a little slow. And then, because you don't like that person, you think that they're being greedy. You know. But they called the biological brother Sean greedy as well. Just because you don't like us. <clears throat> Excuse me. So. But, um. So yeah, like, I'm trying to hold it to not eat the second sandwich, but I'm feeling hungry to have a little bit something extra to eat, but I don't think I could eat the full sandwich though, but I would just hold out until tomorrow to eat the sandwich. Um, you know. But I, I read on a website earlier today about targeted individuals that they indeed, um, you know, that the gang stalking network try to count every penny that the target is receiving. And I guess when they can't keep track, they will freak out and falsely accuse you of scamming. <clears throat> Excuse me. And they want you with forced low income, forced extremely low income. To make sure you ain't, you're barely surviving. Or that you ain't surviving. So. Um, now what's strange was. Um, you know it was raining. And. I got my DoorDash order. And um. Instead of the person's actual name, it was the name of some restaurant called A Taste of Thailand was the name of the person that was dropping me off my order. But then come to find out that A Taste of Thailand restaurant is closed today. And I find out, I don't know why a lot of restaurants, it's, a, a lot of restaurants are closed on Tuesdays for some reason. Some restaurants are closed on Wednesdays. 
So I'm up, well, you know, um, yeah. Some of them are closed on Mondays. But I was shocked at how many restaurants were closed on on today, you know. Um, but, yeah, the, um, but the, the sandwich tasted pretty good. And it tasted a lot like vinegar. And then I realized, well, oh, the reason why it tastes so much like vinegar, because the the pickle oh come on another big net the pickle is um <clears throat> got you motherfucker damn another net they're big nets too that I think they were already in here before I got in here. Like a lot of these ho hotel rooms been having gnats for some reason. So so yeah, it tasted like a a strong vinegar taste, but it tasted really good. I mean, I like the taste of um, well the real apple cider apple cider vinegar. I like the taste, but. Um, I guess the vinegar taste was the white vinegar from the pickle, you know. So, yeah, there was like a, the pickle spear, you know, from, from, um. So, yeah, um. I didn't have much coughing today, um, but like I've been having hacking cough for the past few days, ever since um, I've been having hacking cough for the past few days, ever since um, Saturday, right? When whatever I don't know if it was a gnat or a mosquito or something that flew in my nose at the restaurant. As soon as I walked in there you know <clears throat> excuse me and um so when I was in the shower I had a bunch of ideas of some sh short stories to write and some more blog posts to write um <clears throat> excuse me so I noticed again the fake aquarium Doris perp and the fake she copied off the fake Darnell Williams perp and said she was going to do it or that she was doing it too you know <coughs> excuse me manip manipulating the thumbs up and thumbs down on my videos you know and I noticed that um the perps have been making comments on my videos disappear. And so somebody, I think it was yesterday or the day before, and I forgot to mention about it. When I did a community post, you know, talking about Trisha and them talking about my demise. <coughs> Excuse me. And then somebody tried to... um. You know, tell me not to worry about it and that the most poli the police, I mean, the most the courts would do is give me a citation or whatever. And I don't know if she, if that person believed their lies and blocked me. Um, I don't even know if she got hateful and blocked me, you know, um, <clears throat> excuse me, if she saw what the lies that they were saying about me and believed it and then blocked me. Or, um, because I didn't find her comment at all after a while. And then I didn't see the comment in the, um, in my YouTube notifications either. So I was wondering, did she block me? But she donated a couple of times on Twitter, you know, but I question whether or not, um, she's one of those occultic people though. But I, I don't have any, like, full, um, concrete conclusion about it, you know. 
but I speculate. Oh, I'm, you know, I suspect that, you know, <coughs> excuse me, but that one comment seemed like narcissistic and controlling, you know, but that she put, but then I don't know, she blocked me a few hours after the comment. Because I did not block her on YouTube or Twitter. I didn't block her on YouTube or Twitter. But I don't know if she blocked me on YouTube or if the perp censored her comment. I don't know which, which it was. But, um... <clears throat> Excuse me, but I've been losing TikTok followers just about every day, and not gain, hardly gaining really any new ones. You know, um. So I found out this um narcissistic control freak, fake Ti perp. That's part of the fake black Hebrew Israelites cult. He's supposedly former military. Well, I got. I, I found out today that he blocked me, but one time he made a video crying, talking about me blocking him. But at the time, I didn't. I don't think I blocked him, but it was when the fake Darnell Williams perp got my older TikToks wrongfully shut down, and he must have thought that I blocked him. But then he would leave like bossy comments to make me feel really dumb. You know, and seeing like he's yelling at me and very controlling. I, I don't like being talked to that way. So, I mean, I felt hurt that he blocked me on certain accounts. But then I had to block him, too. <coughs> Excuse me. But he's supposedly homeless living in a vehicle. <coughs> but he probably has enough military veteran money. That he may not need to beg or panhandle for anything, you know. But he's supposedly homeless, living in his car, and um, harassed by police. But you know, but he seemed like narcissistic and controlling, and try to make me feel really stupid, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. So that bothered me all afternoon. So. But yeah, I don't I don't like being bossed around. Um but they have people who insist on following you and then that like they leave comments on your videos, whether it be TikTok, YouTube or wherever else. They will leave comments even on Twitter, um, if they will leave comments that seem like very bossy and controlling and at the same time treat you like your posts get on their nerves and then I end up feeling with anxiety and afraid to post anything you know but if I had enough and frustrated I feel like well fuck you I'm blocking you <clears throat> you know But yeah, um, one thing I heard about that human traffickers like to starve their victims. You know, especially with sex trafficking. <coughs> Excuse me, they, they like to starve and dehydrate you and keep you deprived. And the same symptoms similar to, um, the MK Ultra, you know, creating an MK Ultra slave. But um, also, I found out that the gang stalking tactics, a lot of the I mean, a lot of the tactics is the same as witchcraft tactics. Very similar. Like the effects that it has on you, like, um, you know. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the, the tactics and the things that they do it seem like quite similar. So, 
so yeah so when I, I I was in the shower and I was I mean I thought about the idea of um writing a short story a fictional short story version entitled you know targeted by the psych world but I'm disappointed well I was still sleep deprived and tired um but I, I was kind of disappointed because the story kind of didn't come out the way I really wanted it to um and I was still so tired and I thought that I was well like well enough to um uh, write but some people might still like it anyway you know <coughs> excuse me um and, and it's like I wanted the story to be a little bit longer and to have like some conversation and dialogue you know so um I tried I really did but it didn't come out the way I wanted it to you know <coughs> oh, excuse me so but yeah even the support of subscribers here on YouTube it seemed like um they either completely delete or censor or hide they will hide the 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 comments of the supportive subscribers they will hide the com the perps will hide the comments from me and then messages and stuff that I receive on TikTok I end up not receiving them until like weeks later <coughs> excuse me direct messages and stuff I end up not being able to receive them or get notification until like a couple of weeks later on cert for certain people for some reason you know but I guess tomorrow um I, I'm not sure if it's supposed to rain but um definitely that said Thursday and Friday and all weekend is supposed to rain so I'm scheduled to check out Thursday morning and be back on the streets, but I need help with, I need help all the way until Sunday night slash Monday morning. I might have to end up switching hotels if they, if other hotels will be cheaper, you know, but, <coughs> excuse me. So, I mean, it is really hard, um, you know, it's like I'm barely surviving and y'all falsely accuse me of living in luxury or, or trying to live in luxury. And that's not true. I'm basically all I can think of is freaking primitive survival or something, you know, but people in the TI community. If they found out that I use um, something like um, dial soap, they will attack me, attack and devour me for using junk soap. It's like with the food thing. If I eat healthy, I get devoured and attacked and be told that I'm wasting my money. But if I eat junk food, I have to hear narcissistic lectures about all the heart attacks and stuff that I deserve. Or, you know, <coughs> excuse me. And I haven't even had firehouse subs in a long time. I think this was the first time this year that I had it. And before then, um, I don't remember if it could have been, I, I, I don't think I had any firehouse subs last year. 
I seldom eat Firehouse Subs or Jersey Mike's, but um, over 90% of the time, Jimmy John's and um, Subway, they perk me with the food or perk me with my money or whatever, but the few times I have had um, Firehouse Subs, they have perked me as well. Excuse me, but I think maybe once or twice, I think they perked me with Jersey Mike's. But, um, yeah, like, when it, it seemed like the Illuminati fast food and stuff, they perp you worse than local businesses. But sometimes local businesses can perp you and be pretty bad, too. You know, um, especially if you're a frequent customer. You're forbidden and not allowed to be a frequent customer. You know. <clears throat> Excuse me. So. My anxiety had been very high and I had been very worried. About um how, how they planted that perp. The perp that did the fake. Played the fake song about suicide. Um, you know, they, they planted him there to perp and gang stalk and run me out of that spot and run me out of the area. And I'm frightened and scared because I don't have anywhere else to go or nowhere else to go. They sent him to use noise campaigns to um to gang stalk me away from that area. So I mean, I would hate to be tormented, or tortured, and abused several times a week. And he just came. He just recently started doing that. You know, <clears throat> excuse me. So, like, basically having nowhere to go. So, I'm going to get off here. Thanks for listening to me.